since the CEO of TikTok wasn't actually allowed to respond and answer any of the asinine questions posed by that farce of a Senate committee yesterday, I thought I would take this as my opportunity to respond for him in hopes that the information might trickle down to some of those senators so they can understand a little bit about what they were attacking yesterday. Don't worry, folks. I'm going to use small words. Number one, senators, could you please use TikTok just once so you know what you're talking about before you step in and start rapid firing asinine questions? In lieu of that, can you ask your 21-year-old intern what TikTok is and potentially why we would need to know where somebody's eyes are to put filters of sunglasses on them as they lip sync to the latest Harry Styles song? At the very least, can you explain what Wi-Fi is? Because I don't have five hours to try to explain to these people what Wi-Fi is and that's not some secret agency to slide into their house. Number two, it is not our job to parent your kids. I realize in United States culture, you become, it's, it's, it's made it a prime time special to scapegoat and blame education and blame the media and blame music for all your failures as a parent. But if your kid's spending too much time on TikTok, that's on you or any social media. Figure it out. Take a parenting class. Number three, we don't spy or collect data or manipulate at all all your electoral system. If we did, there would have been better results. And by the way, we're not Mark Zuckerberg. We look nothing alike. Number four, we're not trying to create culture. We're trying to reflect culture. Here's why. We are trying to create a for you page that is about your interests, that is about the things that inspire and captivate you. We don't want to fake that. We want to keep you on the app longer. So if your for you page is somehow hurting your soul and you're wondering why all of this stuff is on here that you don't want to actually see, you probably really want to see it and should get yourself to a therapist. But again, that's not our bill to pay. Number five, here's an interesting one. We thought you liked free speech. We created this app and sent it over to you guys because you're always champion free speech. We want all people to be able to talk openly, politically organize, talk about failures in the government, and then we give the app so your people can do it and you want to shut it down? We're confused at the messaging. We didn't get the memo that you were against free speech. Maybe you want to send it over. And finally, number six, and most importantly, don't be mad at us because we did it better. Don't be upset with us because we created a, a piece of equipment, a, a social media app that is better than any of yours combined. We just knew how to do it, guys. And proof of that is the fine print of this entire committee is, don't worry, we won't get rid of it if you let us invest. For the love of God.